Um, okay, so yes, we are here. We are back. Key order and welcome to Fate of Aizen. Puka Puka Rua. We are a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition podcast made by a bunch of Kiwi comedians, proud members of Kiwi RPG, Kiamu Fakatao Al Aotearoa, tabletop role playing from New Zealand. We call it Pucky, that's tell some jokes, hopefully save the world, and have a whole lot of fun along the way. Uh, watch chat for Amy pinging issues. Amy says that the chat is fine. Yay! <laughs> we Love you, it. Amy. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate your work. Uh, no, not your work, your mahi. Um, that's what I appreciate because I think it means more. Um, thank you for joining us today. If it's your first time visiting Aizen, then welcome along. And for all of our fairies who are coming home once more, welcome back. It's great to see you again. Kia ora. Awesome to see you here. Uh, we have a very stylistic story to tell you today with book two, and I have a wonderfully fashionable cast of heroes to help me discover it. So let's meet our swaggering with style side buzz. Kia ora, Katie Pehikwe. I'm Jules. I am Bradley Bardley, barely a bard, but always bearing something uh, yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> Severin. <laughs> uh, kia ora koutou, ko Severin Toku Ingawa, ko Dexter Clementine Aho. He is a bit of a monk, bit of a punchy boy. Uh, and yeah, I, he's ready to absolutely work it. He's gonna serve monk, he's gonna serve punchy boy. Oh, uh, but you have. Oh, hey, it's Erica. That's me. I play Tyron Grimm. And Taryn's excited to know fashion, because she, from last week, doesn't know fashion very well. But she did learn to vogue, because they do that under the ocean. That is now canon. Voguing very well. Face, frame, go. Kasha, you're dead. It's, it's just swimming <laughs> upwards. Just Yeah. <laughs> just doggy paddle. Kia ora, kukasha, aho. I am Granny Sabinka. Uh, I am so fashionable, I only speak in a low voice. Not because I'm very sick, it's because I'm so fashion. Yeah, that makes sense. That's it. Yeah, druid. Fashion druid. is whisper. Yeah. I'm a druid. That's it. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Nice. Uh, a, and I will be medium. your dungeon master today. Uh, DM Jules. Jules from NZ. That's who I am. Uh, ready to take us on a high fashion adventure. Hi, get it? We're in the sky. So we're high fashion. Yeah, I didn't even come up with that. My players did. They're better than me. That's right. Um, <laughs> we're going to absolutely have a time in the sky up here because where we left our heroes, they were making their outfit in uh, their room in the local tavern and uh, they were uh, in the without wings and they were all gathered around the pit of couch uh, with their creation draped over some sort of coat rack and maybe a chair, uh, admiring what they had come up with. Of course, absolutely exhausted with the effort of creation. They've all piled into bed um, and had themselves a lovely little nine nine nap. Um, whether that's all together or not, I'll leave up to it. Maybe your imagination or maybe they'll tell me um, when we wake up in the morning. Um, where we join our heroes is yawning, waking up, getting ready for our day uh, to explore what today will bring. Uh, so, sidebars, where are you and how are you waking up? And what's the first thing you do when waking up today? I am personally open to us all being huddled on top of each other like penguins. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think even I think... if we don't start like that, just the it ends of up the that night, way. Just we're, we're all, it's four to a bed, <laughs> and then and the little some one's head. <laughs> roll over, but then it's just continuously on top of each other. <laughs> it's adventure. You have to wake Jenga. up and yeah, well, a twister. <laughs> oh. Hit that spot. Uh, I think the first thing Dex just going to do is check on the outfit, make sure that it's okay, and nobody's taken it. It's not like a sudden it's weapon apart. or anything. Mm. Well, exactly. By the weight of the brochures. I was going to say, it feels like Granny's that sort of person who woke up before everyone and made some alter- like last-minute fixes and alterations before oh. Dexter gets there. That's what I think she would do. Mm. So Dexter finds you still there? 
like, oh no, just woke up really early. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. So Dexter comes on like, good, somebody's just changed their outfit in the night. It's really <laughs> weird. Did somebody like break in here? Like, and I like emerge like covered in like measuring tape and pieces of fabric. I'm like, oh no, dearie, I was just, I am just making sure it fits well. Yeah. Uh, good job, Granny. Because Do we know who's going to be wearing this? <laughs> Well, you have so much grace, my dear. I think it should be you, but I think everyone should have a say in that. Oh, <laughs> I I think I'm definitely an option, but mm. let's let's maybe not just stop at like the first thing <laughs> that we come to. You know, like like explore our other options that we might have here. Well, looking very ungraceful, Taran spread starfish across the bottom of the cuddle puddle, so <laughs> like taking up most of the space. A little bit of like a not not sleep drool, but. <laughs> Just sort of just coming up to wake up. That is a it's a good question though. Do we get a model appointed to us, or is one of us have to be the model? Did we establish that? I feel like. Well, it's not on the poster that you have with you. It definitely didn't specify on that. So hard to say, really. Yeah, it Uh, might be something that you have to figure out at the show, or we need to go talk to the manager. Bartley's definitely still asleep, though. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to go with pride like, Bali, Bali, wake up. we got stuff to do. Come on. Just five more minutes. No. <laughs> I'm dreaming of clouds. You five can live minutes. in them if you need. <laughs> if you want five more minutes every day for a week, that's like a whole bunch of minutes of your life. Go on. We've got stuff to do. Monk Come on. math, monk math. <laughs> Leave me alone. It's like Let me math. waste my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm math? gonna grab a little yeah. bit of the fabric and go up to Bartley and just like tickle around the nose to try and like wake up. Uh-huh. I sneeze. Yeah, some glitter. Cut you. <laughs> Good morning. I roll for damage from my sneeze. <laughs> I mean, you do can. you roll? Do I roll? <laughs> what are you, a dad? How violently are you sneezing? <laughs> I've been practicing. Hey, I've got vocal yeah. cords from being a bard and projection <laughs> and the a little lungs. bit of magic when I make tonal things. So I feel like it would be natural if you sneezed to have a magical accident. I mean, sh- me trying sure. to do friendly fire in any way possible. No, it's fine. Yeah. So yeah. A thunder wave, right? Sneeze into a thunder wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that kind of damages everybody, but sure. Uh, I mean, I'm here for that. I mean, as your DM, I will not stop you from damaging your entire party with this. Sounds Everyone just had a long rest. <laughs> Immediate <Okay>. damage. <laughs> Guys, if we just make the save, it would be okay. I right? feel like it would be Earth Tremor just because of Bartley's weird connection with the Earth now. Maybe. Oh, you're That's one true. of dull sneezers. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's how it sounds. Oh. You want to get earth? <laughs> you want to get earth trimmed right back? You've got the earth stone. You're gonna be. I'm not doing it on purpose. I can't control I mean, it, everyone. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Um, if you want to uh, uh, roll that earth tremor and let's see. <laughs> I'm seeing what the lowest level I can do it on is. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, there's one. Dexterity saving, everyone. I was going to say, it's a dick save, and like, that's yeah. in the name. It should be free, You're right? You're so right. If, because your name is Dexter, you shouldn't have to do a dick <laughs> save. Is that what you just suggested? Yeah, no, exactly. I'm, uh... <laughs> I was I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, Se- Severin knows the rules better than me. I'll just trust what he's saying. No, this was <laughs> a pun. That's why I play every character, like, Constitution Joe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your... That's very good, though. <laughs> I want to do that now. Mm-hmm. What's your DC, JB? No, you you tell me what you rolled. <laughs> I got a 13. Well, the unlucky number. Luckier than me. I think I took full brunt of that at five. <laughs> Yo. Okay, so you have both failed. <laughs> Dang it. You take one D6 bludgeoning damage and you're knocked prone. <laughs> I mean, you, yeah. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Uh, is Granny just like in the next room while this is happening? Well, I'm definitely working on the outfit because there's yeah. never like the thing is never finished, yeah. which is near the bed because the room isn't that big. So, um, yeah, I guess you're saving as well from this. It's like it's I th- I'm imagining this like Bartley wakes up, sneezes, and it's just kind of like wanting everybody to just lie down and go back to bed because like Bartley doesn't want to get up. <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's like everybody baby, right? lie down. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dash it, roll and roll. <laughs> oh dear. Also, do you want me to roll 1d6 yes, per damage, person? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, or, I, this has oh, got no. nothing to do with me. Or so. 1d6 <laughs> over everyone. It'd be 1d6 thinks. over everyone because it's the same tremor no, he's... and we're just all yeah. feeling it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Don't get a six, you scum bag. <laughs> <laughs> I get my only... <laughs> Son of a gun! Why? <laughs> Try to do this in combat. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, the rest of the game, I'm going to get the worst. You just know I'm going to get the worst rolls when we're combating. Wait, we just took a long, a long rest, so I'm going to load up that yeah, bad boy. Have, yeah, you have a long rest, and then... Yeah. Minus and then, okay. six. <laughs> so it's and not then minus as... six. It's yeah, not as bad as it so. was. As our sparkly moderator says, wake up, immediate party damage. Good day. Good day. <laughs> wake Pretty up. Nice my bar's no good, very bad day. <laughs> Earth, can I make the ground shake up? <laughs> it's not even ground. <laughs> it's literally a cloud. Badly Bradley, make the team wake up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we need a healer because, ouch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Dex is going to use half of his movement speed to stand up and be like, what the hell, bad man? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I really shouldn't wake you up, Dan. I didn't know you'd get that angry. Oh, man. At that point, I've just hidden the fabric behind my back so you can't see that I initiated the Flash- <laughs> Yeah, initiated the sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> Flashbacks to Granny doing that. Oh my god. I can't escape that spell. <laughs> oh my what? <laughs> oh, I almost murdered you one time. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. So, and now you um, and the bad men are even. <laughs> Yeah, so you all take some damage. Um, apart from Budley Bradley, of course. Uh, Bradley Budley. Um, Budley. <laughs> Whatever, Bra- right. The, the breadiest Budleyest. <laughs> the Babadook. The Babadook, yep. One is um, their and, stage name and the other is how they're actually <laughs> legally um, legal. So both and, legal. Uh, I guess all the changes that Granny just made are undone. Um, <laughs> the dress also oh, no. takes... Or the pantsuit, sorry. The pantsuit also takes damage. So it like, failed a con save. Yeah, a dick so, save? Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the pantsuit failed a dick save. I feel like this is a continuing theme. It's like so. It's like Granny fixed some of the bad like seams that Taryn had done when like Taryn had cut the pattern really badly. Basically, um, yeah. No, actually, um, and Granny oh. kind of fixed a bunch of it, and then she, then Bartley sneezes so hard, like easy all of come, Granny's fixes go. come undone. Yeah, is that just the way? Yep. So. You have this pantsuit. You are, are woken up in the morning. We will say that because you've woken up and it's, you know, a time that Bartley didn't really want to wake up. It's probably still kind of early. So we can say it's somewhere in eight or nine, somewhere in there. Um, so and you know that the show isn't until 5 p.m. today and you've got until 5 p.m. to make yourself to uh, get yourself to sky drape fashion. So and no sooner. Yeah, well, well, yeah. I mean, that depends if you want to get there early or not to suss out what's going on. But is it airline rules going to be there thirty to forty minutes before takeoff? Yeah, I mean, you know that the the pamphlet says basically five p.m. But up to you as to a party when you decide that you turn up. So you've got some time today. What are you guys doing? Uh, Is there anything we want to add to the outfit? Maybe like a headpiece or shoes, Uh, gloves, an accessory. Purse. Hire, a, hire a model so it's not me. You know, like Purse. anything we want to do. We've got a I'm hire a model who's a cloud oh, person. Bradley is just really pushing for that. I that inherently can't <laughs> go with, with that. I just can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. We may. Uh, Granny has become like really fashionable, like, like Anna Winter. <laughs> Uh, since we started this thing. And I guess that's okay, Bartley. We can wear <laughs> the piece. See if I can. I look away. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it should be Dexter. Do you think we, we could, what? like... <laughs> but, okay, here, two ways, two options. Either it's Dexter and he's, like, eye candy for the shopkeeper that's kind of into him and running the competition, or we try to, like, sweet talk her into wearing the outfit and then she'll be like, damn, I look so good in this outfit, I have to give it first place. So just to be clear again, it's Zephyr's sister <laughs> right. who's running the competition. Or really, oh. who you have not met yet. You've Is heard the sister... Out. Is this the sick one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she is apparently sick. 
Um, but she's also running the competition. And it's her store right. that is the high-end fashion store called um, Sky Drape Silks. So I guess so. it really depends on how well she gets along with her sister. Hmm. Yeah, because Zephra is the one from um, Costume Club. Because otherwise I don't know where to procure a model from. Um, I think the model should be the person that's most used to like being on stage in front of people and, you know, like performing. I love that you guys are really stuck on and this model thing. <laughs> it's important. It's not only the outfit, it's who goes in the outfit. It, it's who's wearing it. <laughs> Clothes make up the man. Similar. You could always go ask. If you're like really unsure, you could probably go find out if you need to supply your own model or if they are supplied or any of that kind of stuff. Okay. Before. Would you like me to go yeah, and find out? Let's go to out. the fashion place together. Let's talk to the fashion people. We could also get like yeah. the rules of the competition. What if one of the rules is no paper? Then we are up the creek without a paddle. That's true, but I feel like that would be something that they would have had to have put on their poster. It'd be very specific, that is true. <laughs> yeah, it's sad for everyone. And that yeah. includes paper. I... Because, yeah, somehow, I don't know. Anyway, well, let's, let's, go and let's explore. talk to them. Yeah. And then I like put on sunglasses, but I don't have them. I just put them on <laughs> metaphorically, <laughs> and I walk away. I like, often put on what I don't have. Takes <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so walks out Emperor's uh, new clothes or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. It turns out I have cloak of protection, ring of protection. Uh, <laughs> Right, you got, just got this new costume, oh, but everyone's been seeing you naked the whole time. I've got time. plus three leather armor. Guys, I've just got these things. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I touched turns to gold. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's I'm on that minus things. <laughs> <laughs> on our way up, can I ask the bartender if there's any place to heal up or if any place that you can point towards fashion? Like, have you on noticed the, the rules or. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah, like, okay, so on the way out, yeah, you can talk to the um, barkeep here at the tavern. Um, it is a different person than um, checked you in the other day. Um, it's just a, a short, uh, sort of stout-looking creature. Um, just. With, with a weird kind of beaky-looking face, but you don't see immediately wings. But, you know, the way that their face kind of looks like with beak, yeah, probably they have wings somewhere. You just don't immediately see them. Um, Good old beaky the bartender. Yeah, they uh, tell you that the, you know, the rules are posted on the inside of um, Skydrape Silks. So you can always go there and actually check out the fine print, basically, on how everything works. And um, in terms of healing, yeah, they have a healer who works there, uh, runs his little healing shop uh, down in the Crooked Alley. And sort of if you pull out a map or, you know, pulls out another map of the town because they've got that brochure stand right there, sort of points out the Crooked Alley. Yeah, and it's like just at the beginning of it, obviously, because you know tourists don't get to go wandering around in the residential. But yeah, right at right at the start of the Crooked Alley, just there. Mm. That sounds good. We should yeah. And is it nearby Sky Drake Silks? Yeah, not far. Uh, the Crooked Alley kind of comes off the main square, and Sky Drake Silks is on the, you know, the sort of the fancier end of the main square, uh, sort of where all the you know nobles live. Perfect. Um, thank you. And I take them back, back to everyone. Cool. We should go to these two places. Okay. Healing after sneezing and fashion. <laughs> fashion after fashion. Figured it out. I take off my cloak and I just like drag it across my shoulder and I'm saying, let's go. I love this like super fashionable granny. I'm so yeah, into it. I have changed overnight. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving Corella the bill. Yeah, yeah probably. Probably. <laughs> that's exactly. Lock it. up your dogs, everybody. Same actress, same sky actress. dogs, <laughs> like little poodles, but they're made of clouds. Ooh, cute. Oh. I want one. So yeah, which one first? Where are you uh, headed first? Healing? Okay. healing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we did have a few pinpricks from the sewing. Oh. <laughs> well. Probably. Should they roll damage? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's not, just in case. Oh, come on, darling. <laughs> it's it's so afraid. fun to have a party that will just damage themselves, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot you got to do, Jules, but don't worry about it. We got you. I mean, yeah, sure. I don't even, why, why am I even here? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so you can go to the healing hut. Um, you see over in the corner of the 
uh, the square. Uh, those people that were kind of on guard before, like when you first entered the square, you could see those um, different little streets that came off the main square and you could kind of see people standing there guarding it, ready to push a, a lost tourist back to where they need to be, you know. Um, so you're heading towards one of those particular side streets. Um, as you get nearer to it, you now see why it's called the Crooked Alley. Um, it is very, like, sort of a bit weird and windy. Like, the buildings haven't been put. Everything in the square is quite nicely fronted in this beautiful centre area with the fountain and walkways and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But um, this particular alleyway is all, like, buildings were just kind of plonked there with no real thought about where they were going. So the alley kind of disappears around a corner um, quite quickly. But then you also see other buildings, yeah. Um, and right at the start of this alleyway is a, a sign for a uh, healer's hut. And you can see in the in the wee cloudy windows um, that it looks like it's got uh, shelves of various potions and um, some little pots with some little herbs and bits and pieces. Quite a um, bright looking, uh, natural looking place. Quite welcoming. Splendid. Let's go in. Uh, may I remind everyone in this party uh, we've spent all our money on disguises. That's all. We walk <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, we have yeah. some money, but we don't have any. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a lot. Definitely we don't have like a little bit, yeah. but like, you know. Because we did buy the stuff, right? We, we spent the money on the disguise. Yeah. yeah. Are we, how, how dense are the city streets around us at the moment? Uh, out in the square, not very mm. dense at all. It's just kind of a square. With, Are there four you know. wealthyish looking people? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a whole lot of different air types, nymphs, spirits, you know, and then all sorts of uh, winged or different uh, creatures with, you know, and there's definitely, you can see groups walking together, animatedly talking together that look well dressed and yeah. Okay, well, people are trying to get healed. I am going to do an enthralling performance and busk outside and okay. focus on four creatures that will watch and listen to me perform for a minute and if mm-hmm. and uh, do a wisdom saving throw and then be charmed. I'm going to try and get money from them for busking. I'm going to try yeah, and charm okay. them. To, yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. So you can set up outside this shop. It's right in the corner of the square. So, you know, you're right in the, the hustle and the bustle of things. So as you sort of set up, um, and get ready to, to perform. Um, there is already interest, like people kind of like, oh, what's happening there? Is this something, you know, that this person is doing, you know? So um, people kind of hover to see what's about to happen, you know, like, because there's already that air of there's probably a lot that happens in the square kind of randomly, different events and things. So people are used to seeing this kind of, yeah. Yeah, so you can definitely hold court and hold an audience here. Yeah. We'll circle back in a minute or so and see how that all went and you can tell me about you know um, more about it um are the rest of you going inside while this is happening or are you staying to be enthralled and give Bartley your money um <laughs> that'd be very funny does Bartley tell us what he's doing what they're doing um i think i think my intention is to to have you either go in or tell you before yeah yes. okay. <laughs> yeah cool yeah, so you kind of like, oh, that makes sense. Busking for some more money. That's, I'd be like, yeah. so you, you can know that you can offer the healing person money because hopefully you'll have some soon if that's yeah. what they need in exchange. I, we still have 50, 49 gold, so we're good. Okay. I'm going to drop my uh, my fashion persona for a second, become granny for a second. Like, <laughs> Badly, dear, you don't have to turn people to get money for your... You're a very talented person, okay? Believe in yourself. And then I put on the persona again and I walk off <laughs> yeah no cute wholesome <laughs> but like, you're not often told that your performances are actually very good you know, know because right? like <laughs> yeah I, that you know because in, back in the GBC days um, nobody tells you you're good they tell you the audience will tell you if you're good so yeah. you know um, it's probably not something you're used to hearing very often yeah. yeah, badly blushes a little bit, but also, <laughs> I think also the thinking is slightly, um, you know, it, have, you, have you ever been busking and you just, you put some of your own money in <laughs> so that people know yeah. <laughs> that it's okay to do that? <laughs> You're wants to be the first person. Person. No one yep. wants to be the first, so, so if you encourage some people, if they're already charmed by what you're doing... 
yeah. then maybe we naturally charm some more people to give some more money. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so I'm only trying to you... con the wealthiest, like, most uh, uptight-looking yeah. people. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> totally here for it. So the rest of you go in, leaving Bardley outside, sort of setting up shop and already starting to perform, um, understanding what's going on there. Um, oh. Inside... Um, inside the store, it's it's lovely in here. As you walk in, um, you even feel like there's sort of just like a calm aura that sets over you. Like it's just you know the the place exudes a a presence of you know welcome and calm and serenity. You know you can see these shelves around uh, lined with these ancient scrolls and delicate glass vials with glowing things inside them. You know. Um, and there is a, a winged entity uh, behind the counter. It's actually quite hard to figure out what this being is because they're quite bright to look at, um, sort of quite glowing brightly. Um, you see wings and you see sort of translucent you see through E, but also quite a radiant glowing um, creature. Uh, great greetings. Do you speak common? <laughs> Um, and you hear sort of floating back at you. Ah, yes. The language of the land. Not often, but well enough, I believe. Sound, sounds wonderful. Um, we're looking for some healing, and we were pointed towards your shop. Can you assist the... F- We've actually got four of us. Uh, one's outside. Oh, first aid? Yes, I can supply. And, and looks you kind of over as you're asking and is like, oh dear, uh, a nasty fall on the ground? Something like that. <laughs> Sneeze in a bedroom, yeah. No, and no, like for a moment that. there's like a pause <laughs> and you, you you see like a flicker of different expressions, but it doesn't, it's really hard to tell. Like it's not hard to look at this creature, it's just hard to determine how they look, mm-hmm. you know? It's, it's a yeah. weird kind of light. Uh, Okay, all right. Well, you know, first aid is first aid, and this does not look too bad. Um, and, and sort of like patting you kind of, you know, where like they can see sort of a, a bruise on the skin and a bit of a lump, you know. Um, and as you feel that, you know, gentle, warm, kind of lovely touch, uh, you realize that your leg doesn't hurt anymore. Terrence sort of looks down and shakes at it. He goes, oh, thank you. You're very talented at healing. Can you see my compatriots also? <laughs> yes, yes. First Hello. aid is is something I, I can readily supply. Uh, come, 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 come. Sit, sit. Tell me where it hurts. <laughs> Dexter sits, but he crosses his legs on the chair. Yeah. And where's your kind of worst injury? Where do we see the, the bump, bruise, damage? I'd say like right on the side of his knee. Yeah, okay, cool. There's, there's kind of like a little welt sticking up. Yeah. He's like, it's, it's, it's there. Yeah, just and, right there. <laughs> yeah, and she says, ah, yes. Another f- sneeze fall? Okay. Just a sneeze <laughs> in a bedroom. You know how it goes. Crazy morning. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the uh, the the timber really uh, lived up and hit you. Um, and again, is sort of gently patting your knee. And you see mm-hmm. that lump sort of recede and go away. And all of a sudden, your leg feels a lot better. Um, by the way, um, Taryn and Dexter, full health. Hey. Yep. Thank you. Um, thank, do we owe you anything for this? Oh, no, minor first aid. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, think of it as, as a welcome. Welcome to Sky Kingdom. <laughs> thank and you. how about deeper uh, health problems? <laughs> well, like emotional wounds? <laughs> yeah, she's like, well, uh, uh, my my wizened uh, friend here. Uh, but please, sit, sit. I, I unfortunately cannot take back the years, if that's what you're asking. I wish I could. Trust me, I wish I could. Oh, no. Completely unnecessary. <laughs> oh, Go, you won't. so rude. <laughs> that's all right. I can carry my age with grace, unlike some people. Oh, well, I see that you do. You just suggested deeper. I uh, see. Well, uh, the thing is, well, I am a little sicker than those two. Uh, can you do something about... How do I describe the fact that I'm yeah, below so, my max? Correct, <laughs> yeah. Um, you, yeah, you've got like a really serious illness slash curse mm. slash, you know, li- like laid on you, right? <laughs> so where is the injury on Granny? Like the initial kind of, uh, you know, bump in the, in the room injury? 
Um, I would say probably on a bum. <laughs> yeah. She would have fallen backwards. Not yeah, on a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. And so as you go to sit down on the seat, it's like, ooh, you know? And she yes. was like, oh, well, um, would you mind? Uh, contact is best. Apologies. <sighs> I look away. Yeah, and she just kind of, like, gently reaches down. And and, and there's no, there's no like, sarcastic pat. There's no, like, she was being, you know, like, like gentle and and nice with the other two. But you just feel her, you know, place her hand solidly so it's not like a, you know, weird kind of, like, you know, um, solidly touches. You just feel it get warm and then it doesn't hurt anymore. And she says, ah, ah, I see. (laughs) I see. Uh, that yeah. one is going to be a bit harder, my love. And, you know, she stands up uh, from kind of where she was crouched near all of you and sort of start, turns around to start looking through her shelves. And she's like, who did this to you? No one here, I should hope. Oh, no, it's an old woman's uh, calamity. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Let's not talk in front of the children. Trying to deceive. And she's like, right, right, yes. Well, they would not understand. Only those of us with age really know how to carry it, don't we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is this is just between the old woman and her doctor. Mm. And she nods. Uh, she's like, well, uh, the other two can go if they like. No payment needed. Um, okay. The- Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you There's so much. Um, yeah, she just kind of ushers you out. No, no, it's okay. Anytime. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll, we'll talk um, yeah. out with, with Bartley. Yeah. I didn't get your name, but if you give it to Granny, I'm sure she'll pass it on. Okay, cool. Thank you, Granny. Yeah. <laughs> and you. she sort of shuts the door, and there's, like, no other customers in there or anything. She sort of turns a sign around on the door. You couldn't <laughs> read that language yeah. anyway, so you had no idea what it said when you came in. Yeah. But she turns the sign around, and she was like, and now it's open. <laughs> And probably I, she's just like, tending to the elderly. Yeah, and she's yeah. like, "It um, apologies. It does help to know the source. Uh, easier to cure." I see. Okay, now sorry, other character. I forgot if it was the water thing. It was the water thing, right? The... Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, let's just say I swam in the wrong pool. Ah, you know, uh, sometimes. I guess stories of the earth and the water being and she's still kind of like futzing with stuff on a shelf you know she's sort of like mucking around with bottles and um she looks like she's referring to a scroll at the moment um stories of of the water and the earth being well uh uh damaged is is it true oh how much do i say i think you know what's true in your heart she she nods <laughs> and, and she says, well, I do know that the air has its own issues. The sky is not as high as it used to be, if you know what I mean. And she shakes this little wee bottle um, as she says that. And she's like, right, well, this should do the trick. Um, this one is not on the house. This one cost me some ingredients, but I will mm-hmm. only charge you for what it costs me. As a gift. I will accept this because I see you're a friend of the effort I'm part of, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> um, I, uh, the land folk? I mean, I, I have been. I see. If- no, I meant the air and the water being. I'm actually not speaking like that as Granny. This is just my voice. I'm sorry. It sounds no, very no. mysterious. You're right. Uh, I mean, you know there is something wrong. If you know anything more, you can tell me, and I will there see is that it's righted. Much wrong, especially here. The ill get sicker, and well, my potions are not working as well as they once did, and something oh, so is sick. wrong. So the sick seek the sick seek your help do they oh yes i'm healer for all i'm not the only healer there is a royal healer of course but i am healer for all 
does the sickness get better? What is the sickness? Just can they, can can she tell me anything more about the sickness? They, gone on, wah, like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, yeah, wah. they get down with the sickness. Yeah, <laughs> they're both a bit uh, disturbed at the moment. Yeah, um, they they do not seem to be better. In fact, they slowly get worse and worse until they are bedridden and some give up entirely. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, I panicked being the only person in charge of this. Um, we learned she, about this illness before. She, yeah, she yes, gives you the, the bottle and she says, only only 15 gold. That is, and this is very unusual for Granny. That is fair. <laughs> I pay it. <laughs> yeah, uh, and she Mary, tucks, no. tucks the gold away in a box behind the till and she comes back and she's like, look, I know your friends probably wait, but... Don't worry yourself too much about us. I'm sure we will be okay. Just as I'm sure you are starting to feel better. And you oh, are. Like, whatever fine. she did to you is sort of peeling back <laughs> that hold that made you always feel kind of not yourself, you mm-hmm. know? Not as capable as you once were. And that is peeling away. You can sort of feel Perfect. it. Yeah. Oh, what was it? 43. Um... Awesome. Don't trouble yourself either. I will... You will hear of me and my friends and we will bring resolution to this problem. I promise you that. And then I float away in my fashion persona. Nice. Yeah, and the door (laughs) kind of jingles open and behind you, you see her change the sign back around again and sort of, you know, wave (laughs) uh, to you all. So, Bardley, outside, what has been happening? I sing a song. Mm -hmm. Out of pocket, out of character. (laughs) Cool. Out of nowhere. Top of the um, dome. Right, top of the dome. <laughs> just off my head, just off the top of my head. I go, um, uh, y'all don't know what it's like living on the ground and not in a cloud. It's hard <laughs> submitting to gravity. Sing along if you understand me. Rocks and dirt. <laughs> We're rocking the cloud burbs. Just like caves and eyes and dirt. Up in the cloud burps. Except that I'm not a thieving kid. <laughs> Rocking the cloud burps. I'm hope, uh, oh, we play the songs and sing these tracks. Hoping that I've charmed you to give me some nice new shiny golds and cents. <laughs> that was like a minute. Yeah, raging um, <laughs> applause from the crowds that has gathered. Um, they're big fans, um, especially because you're singing about something that a lot of them actually don't know about. So a lot of them don't actually really understand all of the words that you're singing, but they understand, like, a couple of words. You can s- sort of hear, like, rock, rock, earth, you know, like, so, like they understand that you're singing about the ground, yeah. you know, like... Um, mm-hmm. And they're like, they still dig the tune. They still think it's cool. They think you're a, like a cool person to come to Sky and entertain. You know, they're used to they being the entertainers, people. like the the like people coming to look at them. You know, so yes. it's kind of a cool cool vibe. Um, and you get like a, a round of applause, and everybody's like talking about that. You know, you're gonna be like the thing they bring home to tell people about their day. You know, Whoa. yeah. And you definitely get donations. They're used to this. They know they know what the story is. Um, and <laughs> if you roll me a two d twenty, and we'll add them together, that's what you get. Oh great! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. Pressure. My first rolls that aren't to harm other people. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I rolled fourteen all up. <laughs> okay. Well, fourteen oh. gold um, is what you. Yeah, is what you get from the the crowd. So basically, that's you, almost what Granny spent. Yeah, so you get like a yeah. gold back, basically, which is kind of cool. All right. Hey. So not um, bad for little work. Because of the time. <laughs> 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 um, we're going to. Uh, I assume that you're heading to the uh, sky drape fashions. Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah. Perfect. I want to know the rules. How to work. What's up? Yeah. What's been yeah. happening? So you walk into Skydrow Fashions. Well, you actually walk on to the other. Uh, firstly, you walk to the other side of the square. 
And unlike the uh, the crooked uh, pathway of that one, the other side that you clearly see is like it's really nice cobblestones, big archways, you know, palatial kind of like places that you can see off in the in the um, not too far in the distance, but you know, you can see these giant houses that have been made here, and they're all like a big walkway uh, in between them, and you can see sort of quite finely dressed. Uh, residents of Sky walking in between each other's houses very Bridgerton vibes you know they're all kind of escorting each other you know arm in arm you know sort of talking animatedly um, in between each other's houses and stuff like that so you can kind of see that here the guards are very on guard you know in down that pathway like they've got little huts that they stand in um, and they have weaponry like very much on display um, and they are sort of like if you even took a sniff down that Road away, they would you know you would definitely be stopped, you know. But Damn. right on the corner of that street where it's still the square is Sky Drake uh, Silks, um, you know, prime placement. And this this place has you know columns out the front and and one big window all draped with curtains with one mannequin with this gorgeous outfit on it. Um, and uh, a little pinned sign on it saying about uh, the festival that is upcoming and uh, see inside for more of the Sky Kingdom fashion challenge. Is the yeah. sign in common? Uh, it's in loads of different languages. And you're not quite sure how that is possible when surely that should mean that the writing is quite small, but it's <laughs> it's like you just can see it in common. Ah. And it also tells you that this particular outfit was the previous year's winner of the uh, Sky Drape uh, Challenge. What are we against? Like, what do we see? <laughs> yeah, so obvi- yeah, so obviously mm. this must have been a different type of theme. Um, maybe not like a wearable kind of creation artwork of like various materials. This must have been some other type of fashion challenge because what you're seeing is just glimmering and gorgeous and obviously made of all you know actual things that you would consider traditional fabrics you know so not really sure you know um Hmm. but it is category yeah it just is stunning like you're looking at this thing and you can tell it's a work of art not just clothing you know i'd love to wear that even if only once (laughs) damn do you think they'd notice if we stole it and then entered it again? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like it's I, only one. Only if we did it in the middle of the daytime. <laughs> yeah. So remember to involve pies somehow. Never gonna let that go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so through the through the window, you can just kind of make out that there seems to be like a, a, a space in behind there, quite a large open space. Um, you can see a counter kind of through the window where um, a woman. Um, quite glamorously dressed is hovering behind currently. Yeah, can't oh, really so see much else through the window. Do we but. see firstly what are you going through for? Which is, do we need a model? Well, you can't see much else through the window, so it looks like you're going to have to go inside to see the rules. Um, and on the sign, does it say anything? We... Yeah. So you're going inside the store. Yes. Uh, Dexter would. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. So you head inside. Um, and you see this glimmering, gorgeous room. Chaise lounge, mirrors adorning all of the space. Three mannequins only on the sides of the room. So the one that you could see in the window, and then there are two more mannequins with various outfits on either side as you walk in. And then there's the counter at the back end there. You can also see at the back end now that there's this velvet style curtain set up as like a changing room situation in the corner um and the woman standing behind the counter her sleek dark hair piled on top of her head the dress clings tightly to her body just absolutely accentuating every curve this is a woman who either does not eat or food doesn't affect her you know like it's it's just the ultimate um you know of style yeah um and she turns around and her hair kind of swings on top of her head uh, in a way that feels, you know, quite seductive, but also quite daring, you know, very confident um, as this woman. And she speaks to you in Oren as you enter it originally. And so she uh, says to you, you know, 
and then like sees no recollection and she's like my apologies welcome to my establishment so sky drape silks i would know what my own establishment was called so i wouldn't have hesitated there um so welcome uh can i outfit you today that's fine sometimes i have mental blanks about things how's it going (laughs) uh my name's dexter uh, we're looking to enter the like fashion competition thing. We're wondering like what the rules are. Are we provided oh, a model? Yes. Things yes, like yes, that. Yes, yes, um, yes. And she sort of points t- to just b- beside, like, so the door kind of opens. And then as you let the door close, you realize there is a board that's just kind of beside the door there with a whole load of rules and fine print on it. Um, but t- t- model, no, 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 no. Those will be supplied. Um, you will have choices my darlings oh thank god to make sure that the model i mean thank brad suits your outfit (laughs) yes yes it's all very important unless you have any specifications now and we can ensure that we select the right model for you someone fairly tall we might we might need to have a sidebar to talk about what kind of model (laughs) Yes, let's oh. have a sign. Okay, what are, okay. Just, what are the options in terms of, like, what's the smallest model, what's the biggest model, and then we'll find somewhere between those. Because it's no worth saying, I don't know if you know what a Goliath is, but if we say a Goliath, then you maybe don't have that in stock, you know? Oh, I want I a understand. medium model that's just right. The I understand. That, that psychic model. We mostly dress our uh, clothing onto, uh, well, particularly with this one, winged creatures. I mean, we are, uh, of course, celebrating, you know, Asareth, uh, who, of course, was a winged creature. So uh, particularly with this winged, um, but all other uh, options are available. We do have a Pegasus option, although it does get messy on the stage sometimes. But, you know, uh, w- if, what I'm trying to say is, is, is if it has wings, we probably have one on the books for this event. Sidebar? Hmm. <laughs> okay, look. We, <laughs> do we just like, buy a... the notice board? Do we just, like, <laughs> huddle in the corner? <laughs> do we have wing holes? I don't think oh, we have. No, we can quickly make them. Do we have anything to, like, like put on the wings? Because that might be... Like, oh. we might lose points if we don't have the wings also decorated. Can we make a little net that goes over the wing with, like, the pearls on it? Pearls. We have the pearls. The pearls oh. are our thing. <laughs> More pearls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for going to put it down. Like, like a fishing net. No offense. <laughs> yes, this will oh. say where we came from. Yes. No, just... but Granny, could you knit something? <laughs> I don't oh, have the... Oh, I am the... already on it. Granny, <laughs> 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 you can whip it out of her like needle. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yes, I think we should do that. Okay. Which one? Pearl one. But yes, pearling. And then what kind of creature do we want? What kind of winged being? Like bird person, cloud person? What do we... Oh, um, so we The have... outfit's very cloudy, right? Yes. Very yeah. true. Oh, wait, so cloud person, not, not a cloud person, because they don't have wings. So that's probably not a cloud mm. person to choose from. You very could true. ask the question. Oh, mm. can... Uh, okay. <laughs> Breaking was, was... off from the sidebar. Are the... <laughs> Are all and aside models... from the sidebar, I'm gonna have a sidebar with. Yeah, the... like Granny sticks up oh, head no. from like where I imagine all of you have hovered <laughs> by the board with your arms around each other, and you've all got your heads in that huddle thing, right? And so Granny's head just <laughs> pops up from the huddle to ask a question. Yeah. What 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 are the crowd people called again? <laughs> oh, as, uh, do we can we crowd pick people. an air elemental uh, or a? Ooh, I just came up with an idea. As, or is it just winged creatures that we have? Oh, to do? no. Um, some of our uh, ele- elementals, or those who can uh, command the elements well, uh, are able to manifest a winged appearance, if thou should wish that. And forgive my ignorance, would a wing like that just go through the fabric, or does there have to be a hole in it? I <laughs> apologize, um, she, but... No, no, no. Um, she, she sort of... <laughs> Like a lovely sort of gorgeous musical laugh. Um, and she sort of knocks her hand on her counter, which is also made of cloud. Um, and it's like, no, no, we're able to manifest quite solidly. Uh-huh. I see. Therefore, we need to make a hole in our outfit. <laughs> yeah, because she obviously uh, is also an air elemental who is yeah. very close. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's say someone didn't make holes. Would you be able to go through the outfit? <laughs> that can probably be negotiated with your model. Are you interested in a more cloudy appearance to ele- elemental? Uh, sidebar. 
I'm going back to the sidebar. Put okay, me back, back down. to the sidebar. <laughs> what do you think? I, I like the idea of a new elemental. I think if we've got the brochures, we've got the netting. It seems like it's oh, being yes. swept up in the wind. And I think that would be quite a cool effect rather than oh, something more nice. more kind of solid. Um, not that they're not solid, but you know. No, of course. Um, yeah, pop back up. Yes, we would be interested in an ele- elemental. Perfect. That I means that the pool of models that we need to supply you is much smaller. You'll still have uh, a couple of options, but they will be more two or three. Hmm. That's perfect. That be acceptable. All right. Well, um, you know, competition starts at five, but um, as you know, <laughs> outfitting your models can be quite tricky. Uh, models will be available from four, so do as you wish uh entry into the show uh, through these doors just here and she sort of points out they'll be open from three uh you're more than welcome to make yourself uh, at home and uh pick a a desk a, a space uh you know i see well let's there's nothing else left but to go get our outfit isn't perfect it? i look forward to seeing your creation soon that's all, and I walk like I guess gesture to the rest of the team because I am a fashion person. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. a bad word. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Granny does the you know the cape yeah. swish, and Aurelie yes. does the hair toss, um, oh, yeah. kind of in recognition of you know style meets style. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, she's got like the um, the people in the stream. Uh, Aurelie has popped up on um, on our art mm. a couple of times, so you can see her and her piled high hair and her fancy outfit uh, popping up on our our pictures. Granny says, "Come, come," and walks away, not looking back. Hmm, nice. Okay, and I think that is where we're going to leave our episode today. <laughs> so, uh, looking, walking <laughs> out. Of sachet away. Yeah, <laughs> sky draped silks with absolute style <laughs> is our sidebars. And as they look back, hair swishing to the camera, they say, and, and that's, that's the end, end, end of, of, of the episode. 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 <laughs> episode. <laughs> Try so hard. Thank yeah, God I so far. I didn't know where, where we were going to go today. I was excited. I was ready for our, our fashion show, but it turns out, nope, we're going to be doing the rest of our fashion show next time. So you're going to have to stick around to see what happens and who they're up against because you know that they've got pretty stiff competition. Some of the people up here in the Sky Kingdom have been prepping for this for months not just making the outfit the night before. So can our sidebars uh, take it out with their night before creation? Has their creativity and their, you know, the fact that they're bringing all these landy type ideas to the forefront to get get them over the line? Uh, That's why I say sabotage. (laughs) You have to sabotage them. They've been preparing for so long. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us on our adventure today. We really hope to see you again. If you are listening to the podcast, on the app of your choice, maybe come along to a live stream. It's really good fun um, catching the action as directly as it happens. We stream every second Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. in ZDT on Twitch, and we would love to see you there. Uh, many amazing people are involved with the production of this podcast, and we are incredibly ga- grateful, 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 yeah. not grateful. It's, I'm not gatekeeping it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for their hard we work. are creatively gatekeeping. <laughs> and dedication every single episode. So I want to give a big shout out to my partner in crime, Brad Zimmerman, editor of the polished episodes you hear, responsible for the design of World of Eisen and Book One, and always the guy who says to me, Jules, are you okay? Do you need me to do something for you? So thank you uh, to Brad for keeping the podcast going. Thank you to Amy Ward Art, our glitteriest moderator, keeping our live streams chat a wholesome hilarious and sparkly fashionably sparkly uh place to be um samsara thank you so much again for all your continued technological support i appreciate you and you know what actually shout out because samsara made the obs um stream kind of labs what it actually is which means that i can log in right before the stream goes live and just post it and just send it um so without samsara i couldn't have done that so thank you to haunted samsara sandwich haunted samsara (laughs) haunted sandwich for the character art they designed for our sidebars and aiden mesa photography 
videography for capturing our players in real life. We are proud members of Kiwi RPG and we encourage you to visit their website to find other Kiwi creators that you need to know about. Before I thank our Patreons, I would like to point out something that is happening real soon, which um, Fat Advisor or me um, particularly are entirely involved with, and that is the Yes and Charity stream is going to be going live on Twitch on the 20th of October from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. We're raising money for Make-A-Wish New Zealand, um, and we are hoping to raise about $4,000 because that would mean that we could make two kids' wishes come true, and that would be a dream come true for me um, if we could do that. So um, if you're uh, following along with us and what we do, I'm Fate of Eyes in here. I'm going to be DMing the chaos that happens in that. Um, you can either follow along with the live stream at the time that it happens or you can early donate. If you donate during the live stream, you actually go in the draw to win some of the prizes that we have um, available to win. We have two different prize packs. Um, and as long as you donate on the particular tiers that we have on Tiltify, um, you'll be in the draw to win those. So it's it's really that easy. Um, donations before the charity show uh, do not go in the draw to win, but they do help power up our heroes before the adventure goes live. No, I'm not going to explain it any more than that because it's a bit of a secret. But if you follow along with the social media uh, advertising you may see that all of our production team have stats of zero hmm i wonder if that might have something to do with it all right so of course this podcast would not be able to keep going without our patrons who keep the lights on in eyes and hq and make the fate of eyes and discord a delightful home on the internet and we are incredibly incredibly grateful for your continued to support um especially when there are so many other things out there you could be spending that dollar two dollars whatever it is um five dollars a month on um we are incredibly honored that you chose to spend it on us so thank you to alex white robinson irene coochie laura christine goodwin sam malcolm k victoria and gavin porter daniel nichols squished malcolm crow is dead for most of the six cents alexandra lickheitz andrew evans case the fox ezekiel tarabarelli the game of tron christian h disturbed one nz says call your parents before severin can say it and also the real life win of the forgotten says remember the forgotten Lyndon Hood, Tom, I told my wife she should embrace her mistakes and she hugged me, Ailey, Erica Jane, <laughs> Penny D from the Terrible Adventures of the Janice and Breffitt's Parchment Company podcast, Aaron Gilgrant, Moji, Toji Barkhide, Danielle the Tea Lady, Lady of the Tea, and don't worry, Jules, I'm not going to mess with my name here in Patreon, Liz from A Time to Die, a D&D podcast, Paul, hashtag Tom Smells Chalk. And I like that he just joined so that he could call his friend out on Incredible. <laughs> At least a dollar well spent. <laughs> Look, this is how we, uh, if this is how we make money, feel free to change your Patreon names, people. Yeah. Patreon battle. <laughs> Guys, we'll I'm, start I'm a fan. <laughs> We'll keep you going for the sake of the yeah. Patreon, everybody. So 100%. Patreon battle royale. <laughs> we'll and don't forget... Understand. Um, our partner in crime also fanrolldice.com if you are looking for some more dice in your life head over to them and use the promo code fate of Eisen to get 10% off your order it's a little you know sneaky discount just because they love us we love them and um, we're a big fan of dice in our lives um, and we know you are too so um, thank you uh, very much team um, I I honestly can say I love you all and I love doing these episodes with my amazing players um, and I love hanging out on Twitch with you all. It's kind of the highlight of my fortnight. So, inohora, kakita ano, aroha nui. Goodbye and we'll see you again soon. Lots of love. Call Disturbed One in Z and then tell him <laughs> to tell your parents that you love them. <laughs> Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Eat Eat those <laughs> listening from home, deserved ones and Z phone numbers in the chat. So if you want to do that, log in next time. <laughs> no. And watch the live stream. Go to the Twitch yeah. chat to see his Amy, exact house address. <laughs> Amy, what's that called again? The thing that I'm supposed to say no, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no um, dog <laughs> No dog thing. Thank you. No dog thing. <laughs> no dog thing. No S. It's Better during Royale. the Twitch stream. Better Royale. Yeah. yeah. Amy really would up. never let that happen yeah, because yeah. Amy is the moderator was the mostest and she would never let a phone number appear in the chat. Um, Unless <laughs> yeah. it's disturbed ones. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is never going to end. You guys are the worst. Friends uh, don't let friends after I've friends. just said that I love you guys the most and now I'm like, I take it back. Exactly.